Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dana when I'm back on another live stream because these are so much easier for me to get videos out right now with as hectic as things are. So I'm enjoying this live stream and I hope you guys are too because I've been doing a lot more of them. I've got software that's doing weird flashy things. Disregard that. We'll switch to a better view here in just a second. But today we are going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge comics. I've got, it looks like I have a lot. These first four these are just issue number one. But today, issue number two came out, and I have two variant covers. But we're going to read through issue number one because it's old. It's a month old now, so I don't feel bad about spoiling it. So you've been warned. There will be comic spoilers. Okay? There will be comic spoilers. Um, let's see here. Let's go. Comic book. Cool. Um, let's get the chat on the screen. It's going to do a weird thing and go really big. Because it always does. Why do you do that? Why do you do that, chat? I don't understand it. But there you go. Now it's fixed. Whoa, you guys are humongous. Okay, cool. Let me read some of what you guys are saying. I'm seeing some. I love Star Wars. Question one. Is there clone armor? I don't know. We're not doing that yet. We'll do some Q&A after I'm done reading. But I'm not going to do any Q&A now. I'll do it once we get through the point of the live stream, which is going to be the comics. So if you want to save your questions for then, cool. If you want to just keep typing them, great. I won't answer them until the end, though. So just so you know. Is this going to work? So I've got this camera problem. Look at that. Infinity. Infinity. Whoa. Uh, I've got this camera problem where if I don't put a magnet at the top, it does this. Ah! Sorry, I should have given a seizure warning. So I've got a little magnet that I'm going to hold up so that we can actually like read through and look at these comics. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, let me read some things here. You just moved. you got to go to Ikea. Cool, cool, cool. you got a Star Wars room. And all this Galaxy's Edge stuff will be a nice addition. Yes, it will. Dana, what's up? Galaxy's Edge is so close. Oh, congrats. Thank you, Obi-Wan Kenobi, for the congrats on 30K. Guys, yesterday I hit 30,000 subscribers. 30,000 sad babies. I mean, all, I'm assuming pretty much all of you who are in here right now are part of the Sad Baby Squad, right? I would, I think that's a pretty, pretty safe assumption. Let me see if I can do this without my phone going crazy. Almost, kinda, kinda-ish. It's gonna go crazy. Uh, spoiler warning. All right, it's gonna drop it for now while I read a little bit more of the chat and get this comic book ready to read. But what I want to show you guys in the comic is some of the little details. That um, that look really really awesome. That are like really, there. That's cool. It's stuff to look for when you go to Galaxy's Edge, which is kind of the point. So I want to dive in the comic because today in issue number two, um, there's there's some stuff that I saw in the background that I've confirmed and have seen pictures of in real life. That's going to be at Galaxy's Edge, and I just I was like, that's cool. We should do a video, or I should do a live stream, or something where we look at the details in issue number one because I haven't done it yet, not since you know like a week or two ago that I've looked through this issue so i'm gonna look through it and we're gonna show you guys what's in it uh back to the chat real quick hey dano my family set up a trip for orlando universal you're so sad it's not for disney i'm sad for you man uh disney's fun get this man to 100k i agree adamantium vader how are we gonna get me to hundred thousand? i want that plaque i want that silver play button i do i feel like 50 right now is a more realistic goal is to hit that fifty thousand, but but, you know, we're, we're going, we're moving. A lot of, lot more sad babies showing up. Uh, someone says, I've got the first comic, but not the second. Disney talking more. Cool, we're going to be looking at the first one. I don't want to read the second one. We can look at the second one, but I don't need to read it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it just came out today. I'm not trying to spoil it for anybody if they haven't had a chance to read it yet. But we will look at some stuff real quick. So there might be brief spoilers, but probably not. We got sad baby squad. Oh, 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 oh. Do I see a super chat? Iron Skull 86. Is that a super chat I'm seeing? Oh, there's no message. Iron Skull. Iron Skull 86. Thank you for the dollar. Comment with what you want me to read. Well, what you'd like to hear Yoda say, right? Because I'll read it as Yoda. Uh, Sad Baby's Gold Leader is locked in. There you go. Hey, Dano, did you know about Black Spire making an appearance in the new Toronto trilogy? Yes, I did. Oh, you still remember the old Micro Machines Death Star player? I'm going to get back to more Micro Machines, I promise. Oh, it wouldn't let you send a message for a dollar. Well, go ahead and, Iron Skull, go ahead and type it in right now. Go ahead and type in whatever message, whatever your next comment is. I'm going to read that as Yoda, okay? Hmm, yes. And, and we're going to, you know what, we're going to even bust out the, uh, where's my Yoda screen? There it is. Oh, 
Mm, yes, Iron Skull. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ri ridiculous. This is, yes. Um, let's go back to this. The chat's going to get gigantic because it does that every time. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna check on you. Maybe read the first line from the comic as Yoda. Okay, okay, I like it. You know what? I like it. I appreciate the dollar. Thank you. And just so you guys know, that's the rule here on this channel. See on the bottom there, it says we'll read all super chats in Yoda's voice. It actually says read all super chats in Yoda's voice. I will. Yes, I'm doing that. So if you guys want to hit any super chats, even if it's a dollar and doesn't let you put the message, you can comment afterwards, and I'll uh, I'll read it as as Yoda. All right, this is going to be first let's let's take a look at the cover here. Let's let's do this. See that cover? There you go, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Has Han Solo walked into the biggest job of his career or the biggest trap of his life? And there he is. There's Chewbacca. There's a Trandoshan right there. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Uh that's going to be really annoying. Let me see if that video thing will get rid of that. Mm, it's always going to have that little yellow. I didn't think of this ahead of time. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll still read it as Yoda, but... Oh, look, is that Akbar? Who is that? Is that Akbar? Alright, inside we got a Spider-Man ad, of course. This I really like. So, Black Spire Outpost on Batu now. Uh, this is going to be hard to read as Yoda, but I'll try. <laughs> uh, you there. Interest you in a juicy Ronto rep, can I? Best in this quadrant. Mm. So there you go. You like that? What do you think? Good Yoda? Decent Yoda? Huh? Uh, but what I like about this is the fact that they're mentioning a Ronto wrap. Now, Ronto wraps are going to be at Ronto Roasters. And they're actually, if you look in the background, they're right in front of Ronto Roasters. There's the Pod Racer engine. Bur See back there? There's the Pod Racer engine. So I, th I think it's really, it's really cool that they have these very specific. There's also a really tiny uh, Gamorrean back there. But it's neat that they have these little details that are real to Galaxy's Edge. So uh, this guy says, not exactly a high bar, is it? So yeah, he's apparently... So this guy really is just not into these Ronto raps, is he? <laughs> says best in the quadrant, though. I guess it's just the quadrant that's not so good. Uh, and then we kind of go into this. I'll take a Melu Run Juice. That looks safer. No offense. Oh, it's, yeah, it's him saying it. Suit yourself. And another one for my young friend. That little kid's trying to pickpocket him. And steal his tacos. What the heck? What the heck, dude? And he grabs his hand and says, What? I didn't... Look, kid, by your age, I'd already pulled off my first heist. And if you're this bad at the game, you're eventually going to starve to death. So eat when you can. <laughs> and there's a rumble. Terrific. Just what I didn't need. If those Sith spit keep buzzing all over the place, I'll lose all my business. So it looks like something is showing up here. And I think the next page is going to show us exactly what that is. Let's take a look. I love this spread. Oh, it's getting wobbly. This is a cool spread. You see the echelon? See a lot of stuff going on here. It's like a big, giant view. It just looks so cool. So I'm doing a weird thing with the magnet so it stays on. Whoop. Seizure, seizure, seizure warning. Seizure warning. <laughs> there we go. That's a little better. Uh, let me check in the chat real quick before I get in there. Do you have the stand box in your comic? Yes, I do. It's way off topic. No, I'm not going to get into way off topics. Uh, First Order are the real good guys. You think so? You think so? Um, How much did the comic cost? The comic... So this is a funny... You know what's really funny about these comics? Is... The, well, so they're $3.99 to answer your question. $3.99. But when it comes to these comics, everybody... I post pictures on Instagram and on Facebook... Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, where did you get that comic? Maybe maybe it's just me because I'm older, but have you guys ever heard of a comic book store? I don't mean that to be sarcastic. I, I legit am concerned that kids these days don't know what a comic book store is because, whoa, that's crazy. Like, I take my kids to, we go at least once a year, but we'll try to go a little more often than that. Uh, they have free comic book day. We can get free comics. It's like a set of certain comics they give out for free um, every May. It's the first weekend of May. But you guys should go to comic book stores. I like to push, like, comic book stores. Uh, no, there's two. Someone asked, is there only one? No, there's two. Number two came out today. But, um, yeah, no. 
<laughs> what does Imperial Perks say? I feels like I'm in elementary school having someone read to you. Well, that's the point. That's what I wanted to do. I know I've got a younger audience. I also have an audience that isn't going to read this on their own. And that's why I was like, let me do this live. And this is just going to be between us. I'm not going to keep this up afterwards. If you miss this, too bad. Too bad. Like, this is just the one. This is a very intimate. Me hanging out with you guys, reading the chat, reading the comic, doing some voices maybe. But yeah, that's that's what I wanted this to be. So yeah, it should feel like you're in elementary school getting read to because that's that's it's fun. I like to do stuff like that. Um, what do we got here? Is there only okay? We're still there. Cool. You've been a big help for planning Galaxy's Edge. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I've been a big help. Uh, yeah. So someone Axionimba says comic book shops are closing all over. Oh, leave me alone about last day of school. Um, yeah, so there's some people that will not have local comic book shops. But if you go into your phone, if you have a smartphone, you go to the maps and you type comic or comic book store, There's most towns have at least one. If you can get to them, then you should. You should definitely go get to them. If not, go to Amazon. Maybe use one of my links because I get a little commission off of it. But Amazon usually will sell these things. Someone on Amazon will sell them. Um, or wait until November. In November, they're going to be releasing the whole trade paperback where you'll get all, I believe it's six issues. They're releasing one issue each month. Uh, but if you wait until then, you can get the, it'll probably be about 20 bucks. Usually they're around 20 uh, trade paperback where you can get it and it'll be all the issues in one go. So that might be something you're more into. Um, but yeah, what else is you, what else are you guys saying? You like the show Comic Book Men, does that count? Yeah, but that's a comic book store. You guys do know that is a comic book store, right? I do like comic books. Um, I actually have quite a few just right here next to me. I've got some Dr. Afra. I think that's Dr. Yeah, Dr. Afra number one. I've got Dr. Afra number two. What is this? Dr. Afra number three. Yeah, I keep um I get I get some decent comic books here and there. These are just the ones in my office. I have a whole like long box full of all the Adventure Time comics, regular show comics, uh, a couple other Star Wars ones when they first started coming out. <laughs> Very intimate. Just me and 30,000 of my closest friends. Right? How many... Uh, what do we got? We got about 58 people in here. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, what do we got here? In your town, you don't have any comic book stores. Abyss, are you sure? Most towns have at least one. At least one. Or like a, some shop that also carries comics. Um, digital area, area, most people's smartphone, yeah, the paper. I know, it's true. And I'm guilty of it, too. I order stuff on Amazon before I order from like a mom and pop shop. But... In, let's say, bigger cities. I live in Las Vegas. Um, and some of these, even like smaller cities that I've been to, still have comic book shops. But if you can support those before you support online shops, it goes, to, you know, it's local families, local people in your community. It was, these are moms and dads, kids, you know, whose parents own these shops. So it's cool to, to that's why I'm always like, no, buy local, buy from a local comic book shop. I buy mine from Maximum Comics. They're really cool, um, very open, friendly good smelling comic book shops sometimes they're like dungeons and they're not the best smelling places but like maximum comics here in las vegas is one of the best and they're always like the cleanest nicest stores uh what do we got here vader series was great so yeah some of you read them some of you read dr afra there you go spider-man vs deadpool oh, see you got there you go what you like most the shadows of the empire right on there you go not really a thing in the midwest that is sad aaron p that is sad <laughs> Uh, maybe comic book is open, but people should know what a comic book store is. True. True, true, true. And, but that's what, that's also what I'm trying to, like, kind of help people out. Because I did notice it a lot, like I said, on Instagram and Facebook. A lot of people are like, where, where do you get this stuff? Where did you get this book? I'm like, well, I come from an era where there was bookstores. I know there's still only places, like, some places at Barnes & Noble. Uh, Borders went out of business a while back, but. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna get into this last page, or the second page real quick, not even the last page. But look at that sweeping view. We have a nice Thai echelon show up. Look at them scurrying like Batuan rats they are. I never get tired of the sight. There are resistant scum hiding somewhere here on Batu, And the Red Fury will burn down the entire rat's nest to smoke them out, Lieutenant Agnon. I don't know if that's French, like Agnon or Agnon. Uh, but there are some... Oh, I skipped a spot. I expect nothing less, Sergeant. And before we're done, Batu will never be the same. That guy looks just evil. He's got the evil goatee. This guy's all dinged up, maybe. Or is that a reflection? No, I think he's all dinged up. They're all a little dinged up. Look at him. They all got little scuff marks. 
All right, then we've got a big Galaxy's Edge. This one's called Part 1 of 5. It's five issues. Baiting the Hook. Black Spire Outpost is a haven for smugglers, merchants, and travelers from every corner of the galaxy, all looking to make score of a lifetime on the infamous black market. War, the fall of the Republic, the rise of the Empire, Black Spire has endured, and the mysterious traitor Doc Ondar has weathered it all. Thriving on the unique opportunities that abound the lawless pockets of galactic fringes, but a new evil arises in the galaxy, one that may threaten even Doc Ondar and Black Spire. And then we've got some credits there, the people, lovely people who wrote and did this stuff. And these are some of the characters. We've got Doc Ondar, Remex, Kendo, and Wuro. Did I skip a page? No, no, we got right to it. Let me see here. Okay, there we go. That's a little easier. What do we got up top here? The First Order. So this guy's down on the ground Look after the uh, whole issue with the Ronto Roasters. It says, The First Order, not good. And then he's kind of walking through the alleyway. This is your late remix. I'm sorry, Kendo. I took a more circuitous route. Is that right? Circuitous route in case I was followed. The First Order. That doesn't matter. What matters is that we don't lose our audience with Doc Ondar. I didn't earn my reputation by running a crew of amateurs. And then here comes... Ooh, I don't want to mess with the mic there. But there's Doc Ondar. Look at ominous Doc Ondar. And that's him in his shop. And when you see him in Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, he's even going to have a fence like that around him. Like, this is legit what's going to be in the park. I'm so stoked on this. All right, what does the top say here? Uh, we don't want to get on his bad side. Dot, dot, dot. Yet. What does that mean, yet? What do you mean you don't want to get on his bad side? Yet. All right, there's his advisor. You're late. Doc Ondar doesn't appreciate being kept waiting. And he says this in his own Ithorian voice. This better not be a further waste of my time, the most valuable commodity I own. And then we've got... Then let's get straight to business. I've been told that you procure the unprocurable, and that you've acquired the greatest collection of rare relics in the known galaxy. These are just enough credits to buy my attention. Look at that big old thing of credits. Easy, Wuro. Is that, is that what I think it is? Isn't she a beauty? When that deadly sarlacc gets too big for that tank, it'll be anything but cute. How did you... Getting my hands on one of the deadliest creatures in the galaxy wasn't easy. At least not for the smuggler I hired. But you'll come to understand. And then notice, in that case, that is a sarlacc. That is a sarlacc. It's a baby sarlacc. So, I think... I think... I'm gonna kind of put this out of sight. But I think that sarlacc, that baby sarlacc, is actually gonna be in there. We haven't seen any promo pictures, but I'm pretty sure that baby Sarlacc is going to be in the park at Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. I'm pretty stoked on that. Let me check back in on the chat. What do you guys got here? Some of you get lightsabers right on. Cool, cool. I'm the best you... Oh, thank you, Disney Talking More. I appreciate that. And also, Jason saying something about a uh, variant cover. Yeah, we've, there's lots of variant covers. Today, there's only two, I believe. Uh, Jeanette Kenzilla says, how good is the comic book? I think it's cool. It's a, usually a short read. Uh, people made videos on lightsaber. Yeah, we, I've seen all those. A lot of people even reached out and sent them to me privately. Uh, like, you know, through Instagram, through Facebook, they've been sending me their their lightsaber videos, which I'm going to be compiling, and I'll do, like, a, a big video kind of on once I know what I need to know. Uh, someone's got a comic book chat. Good, good, good. Got to go get some dinner. See you later, Iron Skull. Thanks for the dollar, man. Appreciate that super chat. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, this is a cool comic book. Are they all comics from Doc Ondar? It seems like issue two, which came out today, not to spoil too much, but Doc it centers around Doc Ondar. I think the whole thing does revolve around Doc Ondar, or at least the items that are in Doc Ondar's shop. Um, cute little Sarlacc. I wonder what it eats. Yeah, right? Plan on getting the How to Train Your Dragon comics. Oh, that's cool. It's going to be a lot of weird stuff in there. There's definitely going to be a lot of weird stuff. First look at the inside of a Sarlacc. Yeah, they, this is actually, they've done this in another book. Uh, we've seen what a Sarlacc looks like in another book. Uh, there's like a, I don't know if it's the Incredible Cross Sections, or it's like a bestiary book with all the creatures from Star Wars. But they've shown that that's what it looks like underneath. But this is just a baby. Just a little baby Sarlacc. Let's see what the next page is. Black cat. Okay, cool. And then... Doc Ondar says, Ultim oh, Doc Ondar ultimately gets what he's after. So Doc Ondar is one of those third-person kind of guys. Talks about himself in the third person. 
Uh, they are on Ivorcia Prime Reserve, Outer Rim, then. So this is a flashback. This seems to be how this comic book goes. It's like something happens at Black at Mon Batu at Galaxy's Edge, and then they go to a flashback about how they got a hold of this item. So we'll see the next panel says clearance codes register de register. Deactivate cannons, lower the shield, is what those little sentinels tell the Millennium Falcon. Whoosh. Uh, says, yeah, yeah, Chewie, you already made your concerns clear. But can you trust me? Have I ever led you astray? Uh, I mean, recently? <laughs> At least the codes Doc Ondar gave us worked, or this would have been a much shorter visit. And then what we got here? Uh, but Doc is paying a good amount of credits for this bad idea. Besides, we just need to catch a baby one. How big could it possibly be? Uh, yeah, I know they get huge. But that's why we're meeting with the biggest expert on these things in the galaxy. <laughs> you like my Chewie? Uh, yeah, I see them. None of them look like Dr. Genzor from the Hollows. That does look like his assistant, though. <laughs> yeah, so you warned me. But nobody likes a gloater. Just keep your eyes peeled. A lot of predators on this planet. Welcome to Avorcia Prime, Han Solo. My name is Urus. I'm Dr. Genzor's assistant. It's not often we get a visit out here by a ship as iconic as the Millennium Falcon. Looks like a bucket of bolts to me. All right, what do we got next? Oh, it got dark. There we go. It's a little better. Bucket of bolts. This is the ship that made the Kessel Run in 14 parsecs. 12 parsecs, actually. Even better, and a vessel so venerable that the authorities allow it to fly through the quarantine blockade around this planet. Yes, well, don't get too friendly. We got those clearances to meet with Dr. Genzor. So where is he? I'm here to take you to him. We still have to unload the containment tank and... Oh, you won't need that. We've got plenty at the site. What happened to this place? The Empire happened. The Battle of Avorkia Prime destroyed much of the rich ecosystem that's home to species not found anywhere else in the Rim. But they still found use for it as a nature reserve. Imperial officers come here to hunt some of those exotic animals. Surprised you were able to get past the security grid. Is that stun stick going to be enough to knock out even a baby? Ha! Of course not. It's for security, for smaller threats. A lot of security for a scientific mission. Where did you say the doctor was? Right down there. We got a little stands, stands box, soap box over here. And this is the right down there. Boom. He looks down. There's a bunch of Sarlaccs. Oh, sorry about that. And there's a bunch of Sarlaccs down there. What do we got here? Two infants and two adolescent Sarlaccs. Been studying them for a long time. Aren't they beautiful? I'm not really seeing the appeal right now. Yeesh. Then why don't you get a closer look? Thump. Wait. And then he falls in, he says, oof, so he lands down at the bottom. And what's next? May not be big enough for a Sarlacc, but sure works fine on Wookiees. <laughs> so yeah, they stun poor Chewie. What does it say here? I'm not being paid enough for this. My apologies for the rude welcome, Mr. Solo. I am actually a big admirer. It's nothing personal, I just need your ship and its codes to escape this place. With enough frozen Sarlacc spores to make me very rich. Look out! You should have disabled him before throwing him over. Pew. And he shoots the thing out. All right, got to change the page. What do we got next? Oh, oh, okay. Ah, well, that's one less cut to worry about. Oh, poor guy. Falls all the way in. Chewie's still being stunned. Thud. Falls down. What in the pits of Lotho Minor is that? Scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh, they're coming through the ground. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Little, it's coming through the ground. <laughs> says, the baby, look at that, that's a baby Sarlacc. It's a baby Sarlacc, and it's totally taking this guy out. Wrapping its tentacles around his legs. Here's Han Solo, what does he say? Wait, aren't Sarlaccs not supposed to move? Oh, they don't dig their roots into one place until they get much older and bigger. That one's young enough to need to hunt for its food. It was in the reports the doctor transmitted to you. Didn't you read any of them? I skimmed over them a bit. Well, this has been fun, but you'll have to excuse me. I have a Millennium Falcon to catch. Oop. Oh, my magnet. 
I hope you die better than Dr. Genzor did, Solo. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Oh, we're almost down to the end here. Sorry. Hand's getting a little crazy. What's on the next part? Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Finish him and then go to the ship. And there's Han Solo. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh, shoot. One's coming after him. I'd come and help Chewie, but I'm a little busy down here myself. And there it is. There's the little baby one jumping out. Dr. Genzor, I presume. I hope you don't mind if I borrow this stun stick. Oh, how is he a... Oh, that is... That's the old Dr. Genzor, yeah. He must have gotten eaten by one of the Sarlaccs. It says, Chewie, get off your lazy haunches and get our ship. Stuns the baby Sarlacc. Uh, Chewie's getting zapped. It's it's not possible. That should be enough electricity to stun a Rancor. Stay back. Uh, oh, of course, Chewie. The mighty Chewbacca picks him up, throws him over the edge, and the poor guy goes all the way down into the Sarlacc. And the Sarlacc burps. That's awesome. All right, what's next? Oh, this is it. He says, why couldn't you just die like the other vermin from Kashyyyk? Oh, they probably killed more people from Kashyyyk. That's terrible. There we go. He's Look at him dodging. Look at Chewbacca dodging those bullets. There we go. I like this. This is a beautiful shot, Chewie. Like, with the foom foom. Shooting from midair one-handed with a bowcaster. I love it. Nails him right in the center. Urk. And there's a little Chewy. The ship, Chewy, the ship. And hurry, there are more of these. Oh, more of them. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I'm too good looking to be eaten alive. Oh, no. No job is worth this. <laughs> and I think we're almost to the end. There we go. I think it's almost the last page. Blast it. Which one of these buttons is the horizontal thruster? So he's back on the Falcon. Ah, there it is. And there's Han. There's more Sarlaccs coming after him. Scratch, scratch, scratch. That's a cool move by Han. Look at that. Pole vaulting. Sarlacc goes right over the edge. Ed Doc Gondar's not going to be happy if he finds out I couldn't smuggle out all of them. Oh, here we go. One more. Scree. Oh, there we go. Uh, sorry about your brother or sister. Oh, there's the falcon right behind him. Chewie! And he's upside down. Oh, there he is. Look. He's back there. Poor guy. No, I wasn't going to leave you. I was going to come back, I swear. <laughs> Poor guy. He says, all right, all right. I promise we'll never take an am uh, animal wrangling job again. Now we have to figure out how to get it inside. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And back at Doc Ondar's. And he's, look, he's standing right next to it. This is like right when he returned. And getting it in there wasn't exactly easy. But here's your Sarlacc, just as promised. Doc Ondar says... For what I'm paying you, you sh for what I'm paying, you should have brought another two or three. Yeah, well, there was only one, honest. <laughs> and he goes, he smacks it. Uh, and if you just pay us, Chewie and I will be on our way. There's Doc Ondar. And so now we're now in the future. So there it is in the past, and here we are in the future with the new current crew. And that's how I procured this magnificent creature. So as you can see, nothing is out of my reach. Actually, I'm in the market for something a little more exotic. Take a look at this. And then... Wow, I thought this thing was done a while back. We got another one. There are some things even Doc Ondar will not traffic. She's showing him something on a projector there, or a holopad. If it's about the price, my clan can afford it. And notice he's letting a probe camera through. Interesting. There aren't enough credits in the galaxy for that. Get out. So he kicks him out. He says he took the bait. How? How is that possible? You said it was lost years ago. No matter what it takes, we cannot allow a weapon that powerful to fall into the wrong hands. And then there's the camera he left. And the last panel is the camera to be continued. So that's kind of how this is working. Sorry about the... Uh, Get rid of that. So that's how this comic's going. It starts with like a currently on Batu. What's going on with this crew? The first orders just landed, and they don't like it. Meanwhile, this crew is trying to do something shysty. 
to Doc Ondor. They're trying to like you know get away with something, sneak something, trick him into something. So it's it's a really cool read. I I think it's oh, this is the new issue. This is issue number two. That's the variant cover for number two. Pretty cool looking. That just came out today. But yeah, what do you guys think? I'm seeing someone, Jeanette Kenzelia or Kenzelis is blowing up the thing here saying, what is a Sarlacc? What is a Sarlacc? What is a Sarlacc? What's well, those monsters? Didn't have you seen uh, Return of the Jedi? When they're out in the uh, desert, there's that big pit monster. That's a Sarlacc. That's a giant, huge monster. These were just baby versions, probably like, probably like this big, but they're going to be in a case. But the point of that comic, I think, is to, is to show us that, hey, there's going to be some stuff inside of Doc Ondar's that... Well, if you read the comic, you'll know the backstory of how it got there because you read the comic, just making the land that much more rich. Uh, they do a similar thing in issue number two. There's another relic, actually a couple relics that you see in issue number two. And I don't want to I don't want to like spoil it because it just came out today. So if you guys like doing this, uh, if you like me like reading this, maybe I'll do it in a month when number three comes out. I'll read issue two, but I don't want to give it away. I would rather you guys spend the four dollars at a local comic book store if you have one, or order it online if you need to. Um, but I don't want to spoil it and ruin it. I just figured this would be kind of a fun, fun little intimate thing to do and kind of hang out with you guys for a little bit. So what I want to do now, now that we've done that, if you guys want to see any of issue number two, let me know. I'll be, I've will be i got the chat pulled up in front of me so I can read it. Um, but yeah, no, if you and if you guys like, uh, like me reading to you like that, if you thought that was okay, then also, yeah, thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the thing. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, did I have to request the variant cover? No, my shop, uh, the shop that I go to regularly now, is uh, they keep it on the shelf. They have like a row full of just variants up top. Like every Wednesday is comic book day. So just to like let you guys know, new comic books come out every Wednesday. Uh, you can go to, I think it's new comic book day or something like that, uh, dot com. Just search new comic book release schedule. And there's a website that will show you everything that comes out each week. You can look at the next week. You can look at the week prior to see what just came out. I think you can even go further back. But you normally can't look further than a week ahead. Uh, but they'll give you the whole schedule of what's coming out. And every Wednesday it comes out. So when the comic book store opens, most of them will have the new releases out on a big shelf of new releases for that day. For that week. And they won't get anything new until the next Wednesday. But when they have variants, sometimes they put them separately. Sometimes they keep them behind the counter. The store I go to has a whole rack of just the variants. And then underneath it is all the new stuff in alphabetical order. So I knew to get the regular Galaxy's Edge. And I knew to look up top to get the variant. And I was like, boom. Those are my two. Uh, everyone's saying two. Yeah, two, two, two. You guys like two. Cool. So you, if, if you want to see a little bit of two, let me... I'll get to the regular cover. I don't want to open my variant cover. I'm going to leave it in the plastic forever, probably. Just because I like to collect these things. But this one is the common cover. And this one is actually about Greedo. This the flashback. So it does have the story with that crew messing with Doc Ondar. But it does a flashback about Greedo. And, again, we get to learn... I'm, I'm just going to show you the first, because this leaked online. But the first page... Maybe I can get to it. So I'm going to warn you guys right now because I didn't turn it off. The second I go to this main camera view, it's going to play my channel intro. So just heads up, it's going to play my channel intro right now. See, well, I got rid of it, so I won't do that ever again. But I wanted to show you guys this a little bit bigger. The first page, that's not the first page. It's called Shoot First Questions Later. But the first panel is Kiari Mundi. And there's his lightsaber. So the first like page is the scene where Kiati Mundi died because of Order 66. And again, it, it follows Greedo, and um, that's all I'm going to tell you. I don't, I don't want to spoil too much. I really don't want to spoil too much. So, again, I hope that's, that's reason enough to go get it. Let me move this big old chat over here. I'm going to move it. There you go. That looks a little bit better. A lot of people saying two, two, two. Two, two, two. That looks so much better. Cool. Um, what do we got here? Let's do it again in a few weeks. Yeah, I think that's good. You love my chewy voice, by the way. Thank you, Gabby Watkins. Thank you very much. Uh, I do a great Yoda voice. So there's an option down there called Super Chat. For anyone who's just joined the chat, there is an option called Super Chat. And what they are is they're donations. So if you donate more than a dollar, I think it's $2 at least, you can put in a message and I'll read it. But even if you just donate a dollar, I'll read it in Yoda's voice. But I'll do this like funny screen thing. Let me turn my mouth a little bit. There we go. 
read your super chats out loud, I will. <laughs> so if you like that, if you think that's funny seeing me do that, that was that was me. That was me reading as Yoda. Hmm? Um, if you want to do that, I do super chats for that. It's just an extra way for me to kind of fund the channel and make sure I can pay for the stuff to do in these videos. You know what I'm saying? It's it, that and I use Amazon links and stuff like that. You got to have plugs. I sell shirts and stuff because otherwise these toys that I review, these trips I'm going to go on for Galaxy's Edge, they're expensive. And it's an easy, cheap way for people to support the channel in exchange for me giving them entertainment. So, there you go. Um, what do you, got? you can get them on Kindle. Yeah, you can get them on Kindle, Kindle Andrew. Shoot. Yeah. Um, sweet, he gets his own backstory. Yeah, uh, Greedo gets a little bit... It's a little bit of backstory. It's not his backstory, but it's a little bit about something to do with Kiati Mundi, and that's what I'll tell you. Jedi Blitzen loves the... Ch oh, Far Away Times. For the lightsaber fun. Thank you. Thank you, Far Away Times. I really appreciate that. Now, Far Away Times, though, you got it. You got to... You can tell me if you want write a whole paragraph, but write it write something that you want to hear Yoda say, and I will I will read it here in the chat for you on your behalf. It can be silly, it can be serious, it can be whatever, um, just as long as it's family appropriate because there's a lot of kids that watch. But provided it's family appropriate, I'm gonna read it as Yoda's voice and do the thing. And I again, thank you very much for doing that. I appreciate that. I was it'll be funny if they explain how Doc Ondars have the legacy light. You know what? It's Funny you say that. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, so yeah, Disney talking more. You might be onto something. Uh, will I be attending the opening of Galaxy's Edge? Of course. Of course. May 31st. 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. It's going to be all me. I'm going to be there. First thing. I'm going to get my light. Well, so what do you guys think I should do? I hear the uh, cantina. I hear Oga's cantina is pretty busy. I hear it's been busier than the lightsabers. Than Savi's workshop. So now I'm like, what do I what do I do? Do I go to Oga's first and get those morning drinks? But I would just kill myself if I found out that the lightsaber thing got overbooked and I was over there getting a drink, you know? Like my priority should be lightsabers. But if Oga's is so busy it's gonna take forever to get into later, and the lightsabers won't be, then I can do both and I can do Oga's first because it's gonna take longer. So again, I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Um and again, faraway times, it, you don't have to, but if you want me to read anything as Yoda, please Oh, there we go. Oh, I can read the super chat in Yoda's voice. Yeah, absolutely. I just figured you might want more. But no, that's cool if you want me to read that. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Far away time, says For the lightsaber fun, hmm? More lightsabers Dano can buy. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to turn my mouth a little bit more. That's a little bit better. <laughs> the far away times. Thank you. Grateful I am. <laughs> Alright, uh, what do we got here? Keep up the great work, you love the content. Thank you, Stephen P., I appreciate that. Do I know how battle-ready Galaxy's Edge lightsabers are? You know what, Flytrap? I don't. I was told, or I saw, I wasn't told personally, but I saw in a lot of Star Wars Celebration videos that they are battle-ready. Get This is my plan. I'm going to let you guys know what I'm planning to do for you. See, when Faraway Times did that super chat, when you guys watch these ads, when you share these videos, the money that I make on YouTube goes in to fund my channel. So, with that, because of these Galaxy's Edge videos, I'm going to be able to show up to Galaxy's Edge on day one and buy a lightsaber, buy a droid, buy these things so I can test them, put them through their paces. One of the things I'm going to do with the money I've made on this channel is I'm going to buy a blade. I'm going to buy the short blade because I don't want to waste money. But, well, I'm going to, but I want to buy the short blade. And when I get home, not initially on day one, but when I get home that Sunday or Saturday, I think Sunday when I'll be home, I'm going to take that blade with that build your own lightsaber. And I am going to film myself trying my best to break that thing. I am going to put it through its paces. Because everybody wants to know, is it battle ready? Is it battle ready? And I want to know too. And you know what? If it costs me 50 bucks to do so, I, I think it's worth it. I think, it's, I think you guys have helped me get that. And I think it's worth me spending that money so that everybody has the information and knows just how strong that blade is. So I'm seriously going to come home and I'm going to like whack that thing against the wall. I'm going to be like hitting that thing against whatever I can just to, I'm going to have an extra blade. Don't worry. I'm going to buy an extra one, but I'm going to buy one for the purpose of testing because I know everybody wants to know that answer. Um, it's huge. Every, that's a huge, huge, like important point to a lot of people in it's worth me spending that money. And I think I'll make it up in 
views and revenue later because I provided that information. Uh, I would say, go to lightsabers, do the cantina later. Much better to miss the drinks than the sabers. I agree, grunt guy. But, get this, I'm going the next day. I just don't want to miss the breakfast drinks is my thing. Because I only have one breakfast, like, time. That's the only, the, Friday the 31st is the only time that I'm going to get the options for breakfast. So I have to record it and I have to get breakfast. That's a priority. Saturday, the next day, I'm going back. I'm going back at night, 5 to 9 p.m. So I have another chance to make a lightsaber. You know what I'm saying? So I, I have options, but my goal really for you guys is everybody's losing their mind over these lightsabers, over the droids, and I want to I want to make sure I can bring that to you as soon as possible. Because I know a lot of you are counting on me for information, and a lot of you have been showing up to these live streams, been hanging out and doing this, so as my appreciation, I want to make sure that I keep you guys in mind as I'm enjoying the land and really document that. I'm going to get a lot of, I'm going to get a big kick out of it. I'm going to get a big kick out of sharing it with you. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, you're going on 6ix9ine. would love to hear how to find the lightsaber shop. Don't worry, it's not that hard. It's right in the center of town. It's right next to, it's across from the droid place is what I've been told. Uh, lightsaber's plastic or metal. The lightsaber itself is a plastic, a strong plastic, but the outer pieces that you put on it are metal. So it's both, actually. Uh, weighs about two and a half pounds. Have you ever wanted to be a part of, or are you part of, Disneyland Social Club? Um, no and no. I mean, nah, not really. Like, I don't really want to be a part of one, but I do know, like, some of the Neverlanders um, used to be, was it the, what's the name, Mad Hatter? I forget what they were called. There there was another group. There, there Back when the SCs were huge, uh, I did know a lot of them through Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, you're dying laughing at the uh, Yoda faraway types. Well, see, the Brothers T, that's a good reason to do another Super Chat. If you have something silly that you want to hear Yoda say, that's why you do a Super Chat, so you can laugh even more. Uh, comes with its own blade, though. Yes, the custom sabers for two hundred dollars do come with their own blade. Uh, you don't care if it costs two hundred. Teru says you're gonna buy all three lightsabers, or you're gonna buy three. Six hundred bones, buddy. Yeah, and eventually I'm gonna have all eight. I'm not gonna buy all eight in one go. I don't think there'll be enough time. I will definitely buy two on day one. If I really feel like it, I might buy a third on day two, but we'll see. Um, how do the sides on the cross? Uh, how do they do? Crossguard lightsabers are not an option for the Savi's Workshop custom lightsabers right now. Maybe later, but they're not right now. Uh, question, Dano, do you think Disney would add protocol droids and others? Hopefully. Maybe. Um, I think it depends on how the flow goes and how traffic actually moves through there. Uh, Orlando says, Dr. Orlando says, dang, how did you manage to get all those reservations? Multiple browser windows and multiple Disney accounts. That's how. Multiple emails. So, like, I, I, I was ready that morning. I took off work that morning. I said, hey, guys, I'm going to be a couple hours late. Just so you know, I'm not going to be here on time this day. I'm not coming in until I get my reservations. And I got three of them. Um, if Dano doesn't get a lightsaber, we riot. I agree, Soundquake. I agree. Izan Corazana says, I hope they have a yellow droid bodies for both types. Yeah, it'd be cool. What saber am I going to put on? So, if I only, if it's so busy that I only get one chance to make lightsabers on day one, I'm going to build the one I want, which is going to be Elemental was it Elemental Nature Green. I'm going to go Green Elemental Nature. The one with the bone and the yeah, I'm going to do that. That's going to be mine. And I'm going to pay for my wife to do one. And I'm going to have her do the, uh, was it Power and Defense? Or, the, or what is it? The, the ancient looking one. I believe it's Defense. The ancient looking one. So I'm going to pay for her to do that one. And then we'll just do both if we only have one shot. Oh, the Brothers T. Okay. You... You did it. You hit me with a super chat. You came through, bud. All right, here goes. Brothers T says, for the droid fund, $10 you must take. <laughs> Good luck. Oop. There we go. Good night, Chad. Cool. So, yeah, for the droid fund. Thank you, the Brothers T. I hope that I hope you liked that. Was that, was that a good Yoda's voice? I hope you guys liked the Yoda voice. Um, apparently, you can get more lightsaber components at Doc Ondar's Faraway Times. Correct. You can buy more crystals that'll work in the lightsabers. That's and I heard some other stuff too, but I haven't confirmed it yet. Uh, have you found out more about the data pad? Do the characters interact with the whole group or just the owner of the Disney? Account? No, I have not heard about that. Uh, is it required to have a ticket attached for the guest tracking? That I don't know yet. I will find out soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, they won't have. Savi's Workshop won't have Kylo. How heavy will these lightsabers? Is it light or heavy? I've heard about two and a half pounds for just the hilt. Uh, they have small blades for Kylo's cross guard. Yes, if you buy the legacy Kylo lightsaber at Doc Ondar's, not Savi's Workshop, but at Doc Ondar's, 
there is two special little cross guard blades. Uh, do you think it's better to get custom or legacy? That's on you. I can't decide that for you. For me, custom. You get more bang for your buck out of the legacy, technically, because they're a little bit cheaper. But I'm going to say custom for me. Uh, what color R2 do I want to make? I don't know. I think I'm going to do an R5. I think I want to do just like R5, D4, straight red and white. I don't know. What do you think? What color should I make? That's a, that's a really good question. I know what. I'm going to get the Kwaki and Lizard Monkey. I'm going to go with the colorful one. And I'm going to name him, what was it? Sabasqua, Sabasqua Bid. And it's like a rearrangement of the letters in Sad Baby Squad. So Sabasqua Bid is going to be my uh, my Kawaki and Lizard Monkey's name. Uh, what do we got here? I'm going to be so broke because I have to pay at least 1000 to stay at the resort. Since you're going from Japan. Oh, wow. Yeah, for sure. For sure. When do you think Rise of Resistance will open up? Hopefully it'll be August. I hope so, too. I'm going to guess October. I'm going to guess October. Um, no, thank thank you, the brothers T. I appreciate that. For real. Like that I really do appreciate that. Uh Grunt Guy 55, I'm really excited to see what material the nature ones are because metal teeth and wood would be strange. I agree. I want to know what that tooth at the bottom feels like, and I want to know what the wooden part feels like too, what it's made of. Uh still can't believe I mentioned it. Well, Jedi Blitzen, I did it again. Grandmaster Lime X says, hi, hey, how's it going? Uh, question, can you live stream slash void of the lightsaber droids experience? Um, sir, T Baggins, I probably won't live stream it. Honestly, I want to put out good quality content and live stream is always grainy and choppy. And especially when a big event like that's happening, it's not going to be good to live stream. It won't. It's going to be so bogged down with other people trying to live stream. It's just going to frustrate me. I would rather have my like really good camera. I'm going to be bringing, oh, sorry to hit the mic there. I'm going to be bringing my Canon M50. I'm going to be bringing my uh, Canon T5i. I'm going to be bringing my brand new iPhone XS. And I'm going to film stuff in as high a quality as I can. And I'm going to edit it in high quality at my hotel room because I'm bringing my hard drives. I'm bringing my MacBook. Sorry to yell in the microphone. I'm just trying to put my camera back. Oh, it's not going to go. That's fine. We'll just set it down. Um, but, yeah, quality is my priority over live stream. I just got to. That's just it. I'd rather put out good stuff. Um, what do we got here? Still interested to see how the Luke Legacy blade works and how it attaches. Yeah, there's supposed to be a special adapter. Uh, Azon says, I need a yellow and black R-series and the same with the BB unit. That'd be cool if they, yeah, that'd be neat. I like that. You want to make an Iron Man themed BB-8 dry? I like that a lot. Uh, what if you do an astromech in the Dano Channel colors? Do I, I guess those are my colors, right? Are those, those are kind of like my colors now. I didn't really think of that. Yeah, I guess, that's, especially for a lot of newer people. To me, that's a newer logo. I've had it since like September, but... Yeah, I guess that would... It's just the Star Tours logo. But you're right. That is kind of my... Uh, I like that, Sir T. Baggins. I like that. I might have to go with that. What if you do an ask... Oh, we did that one. Uh, rumor that June 24th it'll open. June 24th is the day that the park opens to the public without reservations. That's what that day is. I'm building Elemental Nature, but I want two leather wrap components. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that, too. Hoping you can find extra leather binding at Doc's. I don't, I haven't heard anything about extra pieces, or specifically components for the build your own. The components I've seen at Docs are the crystals, and like lightsaber accessories like belt clips and stuff. Um, Jedi Blitz in all. Oh. Uh, R2DO, I like that, I like that a lot. Uh, great channel, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Vader Cool Studios, hello there, Dano, hello there, Vader Cool Studios. Which would be the best place to go and visit? Um, I don't know what your two options are, but let me know what you're thinking there, Disney talking more, and I'll elaborate. When do you think the Rise of Resistance... Well, we already went over that. I think October. Small Spinosaurus. You love my work. Thank you. Love you for being here. Grunt Guy, I agree. Better to be a day or too late, but have high-quality coverage, right? That's what I'm saying. I want good quality. I'm gonna f I want to film like every angle. Um, you should make a custom lightsaber from a hardware store. I agree. I should. I've been thinking about it. I just got to find the time and like a good recipe, you know, like a good plan for it um making a purple bb8 and a purple lightsaber gabby i like that idea i think that's cool have your you know matching no that's that's good stuff uh do you know if we can order legacy sabers online i don't know for sure i don't i don't know i honestly don't know uh very excited for the tron ride that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i am too I, I don't know when i'm going to disney world next probably when the hotel opens right uh, also hoping Rise opens before January. Gabby Watkins, I have a feeling it will open before the end of the year. Uh, you hope the costumes aren't too... Me too. Me too. I heard rumors that like 150 is what the... I think the tunic was like $79 and the robes were like 150 or something like that. 
I I don't I can't confirm any of that, so don't don't take what I'm saying too seriously on that one. Am I buying a costume? If so, did I decide on which one? You know, Stephen P. I really wanted a Resistance pilot outfit. I'm a bigger guy though, so I don't know if it would even fit well. But I was also thinking for Star Wars purposes because I'm going through the uh, Jedi path right now, and I'm learning about different lightsaber forms, like specific lightsaber forms. Um, I, I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to like do a video on each lightsaber form and maybe show it off. But I'd have to have the robes, right? So maybe I'll buy maybe I'll buy the robes. Um, Oga's Cantina or Doc Ondar's? Oga's first. That's I, I will go to Oga's before I go to Doc's. Um, I made a saber from a hardware store and it's so clean. Closest thing you have until Galaxy's Edge. Oh, very cool. Your, my streams are very impressive. I must be pro. Thank you, Small Spider. So I'm glad you guys like the streams. I just learned how to use this software, OBS, and I try to make it look cool and I try to be engaging and fun with you guys just because I appreciate you. Um, uh, what do we got? Bro and Law made a custom Vader hilt, and it's great. It just doesn't have a blade. All right. You want to make your Saber Forge lightsaber at Galaxy's Edge. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I mean, like a Saber Forge style lightsaber, like the one you... Okay, yeah. Either way. Um, but you'd have to buy two Sabers Jedi Blitzes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Did you see Disney post a picture of Galaxy's Edge cast members? I did. There's a lot of cast members. Yep. Vader Cool Studio says, your channel's awesome, you deserve a sub. How much is the Mace Windu Legacy Lightsaber? Vader Cool Studios. I don't know how much the Mace Windu Legacy Lightsaber is. For some reason, it wasn't on the app. It wasn't on the Shop Disney Parks app. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we didn't know there was an Obi-Wan, but yesterday people bought the Obi-Wan Lightsaber. There's a Legacy Obi-Wan Lightsaber. So that wasn't shown off at Celebration, but Mace Windu's was. So I don't know what that means, honestly. Um, uh, there we go. Hey, Dano, would you ever play Star Wars games with subs like Star Wars The Old Republic or Battlefront? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, the last time I, like, let someone add me as a friend on PlayStation Network, they uh, kept blowing me up, and I had to, like, mute myself so they don't, so nobody knows when I'm online. Um, so it really just depends on the person. Sometimes if you give out that kind of information, people just, like think they can bug you all the time for it and, and it kind of takes me away from it so that's a it's a hard maybe just got here was that form manual from galaxy's edge no it's not from galaxy's edge this form manual and i suggest you start with one of my amazon links down below but um if you go to amazon you can buy this it's called the jedi path there's also one that's the book of the sith they're not canon anymore but it says everything you need to know about being a jedi start to finish like this is the handbook for being a jedi very cool book. It's usually about 17 bucks, Or you can buy this and the Book of the Sith for, I believe, 20 or $23. Um, do you have a game called Jedi Star Wars? Yeah, I do have Jedi Academy. Are you going to be able to sleep the night before Stephen P.? No, I don't think so. I really don't. I really don't. Uh, you wish Disney would use technology from The Dish to create an attraction. I don't know what that is. It's like a precursor to the holodeck from Star Trek. Oh, okay. Cool. Galaxy's Edge is going to make us broke. Yes, it is. That's why I keep doing these live streams, these videos, asking for super chats in exchange for Yoda's voice so that it makes me a little less broke and I can go more times over the summer. Um, I've heard rumors about an attraction that gives people the opportunity to experience former attractions in VR. I hope it's for Quest. My son got an Oculus Quest today. Spoiled little kid. He didn't get it from me. He didn't get it from me, but he worked for it. And he got himself an Oculus Quest, so I can't wait to try out... Was it Vader Immortal? Yeah, yeah. I'm stoked. Um, you heard rumor... Do you think any of the Legacy Sabres will sell out at some point? Yeah. Yeah, they will. Obi-Wan sold out yesterday. There's already stuff selling out during the cast preview. And I don't know what sold out means. I don't know if they allotted so much just for the cast previews, and then they'll have so much for the media preview on Sunday, and then they'll have so much for... The actual opening, I don't know what their inventory levels are, but they did sell out of Obi-Wan's lightsaber yesterday. Um, crazy that your first time going to Disneyland's on grad night. Oh, that's cool, though. Congratulations on graduating. You're going to Galaxy's... Oh, what a day. Congratulations, Flytrap 101 Gaming. Good on you. Uh, do you know if they'll come out with a smuggler-style clothes? I don't know. I hope so, but I don't know. Uh, once you buy something, droid or saber, will you let us know how it fits in a suitcase? You know what? That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Actually, Bevo22420, that is... No, you're absolutely right. You're not crazy. People, they're going to be traveling from all over, and they want to know, will a lightsaber blade fit in a suitcase? How am I getting this stuff home? Genius idea. 
Jay Shaw, thanks for all the info. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming to the live stream and hanging out. I appreciate that. Uh, I wish you could collapse the Temple Guard lightsaber. Okay, right on. I agree. I wish you could kind of, but it wouldn't work that way. Chum Change 33, what's going on? You're wondering how much longer is the stream going to go for? Probably not much longer. Maybe 15 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to go through some more questions and I'm going to bounce. I got dinner and I don't want to miss like on the other day when I did the episode one. Uh, you can see my episode one toys. I put, filled it up with action figures back there. Uh, but when I did that the other day, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the main camera and I'm going to bring this so I can still read the chat. Sorry, I'm doing like behind the scenes software stuff here. Um, but back there, there's the uh, the ship, the Royal Naboo ship, and I put all the action figures inside there. Um, oh my goodness, it's, the chat's going so fast. <laughs> oh, there's like 89 people in here. I'm, I'm on a different window where I can see the stats. You want to make, okay, here we go, do you have a game, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to catch up. Will you get a holocron? Yeah, I'm going to get both holocrons, for sure. Which legacy late saber do I want the most? Um, Temple Guard, Jedi Temple Guard, for sure. Is the Star Wars Park Companion out yet? Yeah, it's called the Play Disney app. Yes, it is out, but you have to be at the land in order to access that part of it. Um, and I don't think it's actually working yet. Maybe Sunday it will. How much does the Droid Backpack cost? Thirty nine ninety nine is how much that costs. How do you think Savi's and Droid Depot will work when the park is full? Reservations. It won't be just a walk up. You'll have to get a reservation, either come back later, or it'll have to be some kind of something like that. Um, you wish you could day through September, chat, but you can't quite. Yeah, no worries, dude. Don't even worry about it. Super chats are not required. They're definitely appreciated, but they are not required. Anyone can watch and hang out for free. Uh, Dano has the scoop on stuff for sure. I, I try. I've been researching, like, I've been researching a lot trying to get this stuff, you know, trying to be in the know. My my plan, I'm sorry, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger just in case anybody wants to uh, to do that. Um, but my plan is to, to be the most knowledgeable channel on YouTube when it comes to uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Adjust my hat. Just chopped all my hair off yesterday. Um, you were there for that stream too. Yeah, right. She says, "Donate, donate." No, oh, oh, I get what you're saying. You're correcting your thing from earlier. Um, I thought you were yelling at other people to donate. I agree. Uh, for the droid backpack, it is it is expensive for the droid backpack. I agree with that for sure. Um, Misa gonna go broke. That's true. There's three books: Jedi, Sith, and Bounty Hunter. Yeah, and and actually, there's a fourth book. You may not have known about Adam Chronister. It's called The Rebel Files. This one is really cool. And what's neat about it is it's got notes from like a bunch of people. But specifically Leia. Um, these are all Leia, 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 Leia. Holdo, General Emat, Admiral Akbar. This is a really cool book. You should get the Rebel Files as well. If you're into those books, that's the other part. I should mention that on the Jedi path, there's notes, there's like footnotes. So you'll be like reading the book. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's these little like handwritten notes and they're from like Ahsoka, from Dooku, from Qui-Gon. So you're like reading the book and then you can read what they would have like what their little things were as they passed from hand to hand. So it's a really cool book. I, uh, I definitely recommend it. Technicolor sound. Okay. Uh, yeah, because you're going to go broke. When do you think the crowds will die down? Never. Honestly, never. Uh, can you make a Jedi Temple Guard double-bladed? I don't think so. Did you see my comment up there explaining the dish? No, I think I missed it. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to go up there. So if you don't mind typing it again, I'll definitely read it. If I wasn't going broke before Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, right? Well, good time to take my lunch. So excited. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you're here, Andrew. Marostika. Um, you're going opening day. When's your, uh, when's your reservation time? How much does the book cost? Uh, books range between, I think, 13 to 17. Um, you heard Blue Milk is seven ninety nine. That is correct. And not sure about the green. They're both the same price. But you can also pay more and get, like, a souvenir sipper. I need those backpacks for my droid children, as my mom calls them. So I think I'm going to... I don't know. I've got my backpack. This is... I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, like, keep them in there. And just fold the flap down. I don't know. I don't know how, how I can do it so the droid doesn't fall out. But I like my... I'm going to be wearing my backpack. Or the other option is I buy the droid backpack and just make my wife wear it. And that way I can film her and the interactions the droid's doing and it's not on me. Because it'll be hard to film myself. Um, what do we got? Jedi Path, Sith Path, Bounty Hunter Manual, Rebel, Imperial... Yeah, you're right. There are five in total. You're absolutely right. 8 a.m. to noon. Andrew, that's when I'm going to be there. May 31st. Are you buying all kinds of crystals? Yes, yes, I am. Multiple blues, multiple greens, multiple, multiple reds, 
white, yellow, both holocrons. It's going to be pricey. That's what I'm saying. Super chat, super chat. Uh, <laughs> that's a cool backpack. Thank you. Thank you. I really like that one. Walter Hernandez, you were fortunate enough to be there. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Walter said, no cams. Are, yeah, that's for the cast preview. There's no cams or cells allowed. Uh, when it opens publicly, there will be. Uh, but what the the reason they're doing that for the cast member preview is because they don't want Disney doesn't want the first like views of the land to come from like some schlub with an iPhone who's part of a cast preview. They want it to be professional media, which is why Sunday they're kicking it off with that live stream, big grand opening event, and then the next day is when the media embargoes off, and then all the media who are doing their thing Sunday night they get to show you their actual videos and images from inside there. Um, did, did you mention one of your other vids, how much Savi's workshop is? Chump change, $199, $199 for a build your own lightsaber. Comes with a blade and a bag for the blade. Green and blue milk are the same, just different colors. I heard that they have um, different flavors. I heard they were different flavors, but uh, if you can confirm, that'd be great. Did you get the metal box of the legacy lightsabers because it looks cool? I don't know if you're asking me because I don't have any legacy lightsabers yet. Dish is a tool that lets Imagineers simulate their designs on a surround... Oh, yes, I did see that. They could walk around their designs in full size and five flaws in the design. Yeah, they showed that on Star Wars show today, didn't they? Or, I think that was Star Wars show. Um, maybe maybe that's not what it was. Uh, no Smuggler's Guide yet? Not that I know of, no. Planning your trip to Orlando in March? Cool. Yeah, I thought green milk was a different flavor, too. Kind of an off-topic question, but do you know where to buy any realistic clone armor? Um, I would look at different forums. The... Uh, they're just Google it. <laughs> it's a crappy answer, but just Google it, man. Just Google it, Par Project Paradox. There's different Facebook groups, and there's different um, costuming groups that you can find their forums, and they will definitely point you in the right direction, but I don't off the top of my head. Uh, Gabby Watkins, do you think they're going to sell Arabesh Coca-Cola shirts? I don't think so. I, I think those are limited to celebration only. When you go to the cantina, try the Jabba Juice. Pineapple, orange with per... It's so funny that I've been making Jabba Juice which is pineapple, orange juice, ginger ale, white rum, dark rum, and a little bit of 151. Uh, I've been making that at home for years, and it's so funny they have it now, and they're calling it Java Juice. Uh, where are they live streaming the opening from? From Disneyland. Disneyland.com. Look at Disney Parks blog. They posted it today. Thanks for all the good info. Recently found the channel and loving it. Well, thank you for stopping by, Adam Cronister. I appreciate you commenting and making me part of your night. I'm going in the middle of next school year. That's awesome. Chaos Reaper says, hey, dude, sorry I'm coming in very late. Oh, well, you missed the good stuff, but no worries. I'm glad you're here either way. How much does it cost to go there? To go to Disneyland? It depends on how many days you're going for. The more days you go, the cheaper it is. But if you want to go for just one day, I think it's like 150 bucks now. Uh, blue is Tropical Punch. Green is more citrusy. There you go. Saw your channel a few days ago. You're now a favorite. Oh, you know what's funny? You consider me a Disney YouTuber. I used to do a lot more Disney stuff. If you look at my old beginning videos... I used to do artwork. A lot of Disney artwork. And in fact, I'm going to be... Uh, I mean, I painted this hat. I paint... I actually painted all of this hat. Um, but I do I do artwork. And I haven't done any in a little while. And I'm going to do a little Galaxy's Edge artwork on a blank hat. I'm going to be painting Hondo. I'm going to be painting DJ Rex on a different hat. So, yeah, there you go. How much does the light side chip cost for the droids? I don't think we know yet. I don't think we do. Anovos is a great place for movie authentic. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Uh, which color of the Kowakian monkey lizard are you going to get first? I think I'm going to get the colorful one, not the brown one. I think I'm going to go colorful. Uh, are you going to vlog? Of course. I'm going to vlog. Of course. The popcorn. It's great. Mixed of sweet and salt and chili. How far are how far are you going for, Dan? I'm going to go for two days. Uh, if we're talking about my trip, I'm going to go May 31st and June 1st, and then I'm going to go back a week later for a third trip. I'm going to the Orlando opening. Cool, cool, cool. Buy some legacy lightsaber, please. Maybe. My uh, my thing's going to be the build your own. I'm going to definitely buy a couple build your owns. Oh, thanks, Faraway Times. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. See you later, small Spinosaurus. Thank you for stopping by. I think I'm going to end soon anyways. Maybe like five minutes because it's already late. Um, going to be at Galaxy's Edge on the birthday. Right on. Oh, my God. You need a hat that I paint. Um, I don't, maybe we can work that out. Maybe, maybe. I don't get the chance to paint too often anymore. Um, and to me, time is money, especially when it comes to these videos. So I got to warn you, it wouldn't be cheap. Uh, something like that would probably take about two, three hours. And, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I put it. I don't, I don't generally do artwork for other people anymore. I used to for about a year or two. I did shoes all the time. And like Tom's, if you follow my Instagram at Daniel Flores, there's a lot of old stuff like that I used to do. I just quit doing it because I couldn't do it anymore. 
Uh, do I want to see Hondo? Of course. Of course I want to see Hondo. What pieces am I going to get? Elemental Nature. Yes. Um, do you think Droid Depot? Yes, it will be packed. Jacket's sick. Thank bro. I like it. I've got... Oh, wait, where am I? So, I don't know if you can translate that. Good luck. I've got a uh, little rebellion symbol. I've got a, a National Park Scarif arrowhead. I've got some some Mortis patches here. What else do I got? I've got a Echo Base admittance badge. It's like a you know, cargo to get into Echo Base. I've got R5-D4. I've got... Who's this? Jedi Prime. I've got the Canto Bite Chip. Got a patch with Leia's thing on there. I think Kenner. Did I miss the Kenner? Oh, and on the back... I've got a... Uh, yeah, there's the back. But yeah. <laughs> there you go. Decals and chips. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Sheriff, there might be any other unreleased legacy lightsabers. Sheriff, sure, if I find out, I will. Wish we knew the prices for the droid add-ons. Yeah, I know. I know. Welcome, Ian Schweitzberger. Um, no, like what pieces? It's okay if you don't know. Oh, I don't know. Um, Yeah, I don't know yet. What's the definition of a yellow lightsaber? I don't know. Where'd you get those from? Parks? The patches? No. Etsy, eBay. Um, Squadron Goals made these. And I love them. She makes some really cool Sabine patches too. As well as... I don't know if I have any of her pins. The Jedi Prime pin, there it is, is from Squadron Goals also. Follow her on Twitter. She's amazing. Are you going to live stream when I go to Galaxy's Edge? No, I won't live stream. Pro I probably won't. I might if I think it's going to work. But I probably won't. Whole experience is great. The only thing they put everyone sells in camp. Yeah, they're gonna do that because it's a cast preview. Um, when you're there, you're gonna get custom build lightsabers too. Right on. Do you think there will be first order stormtroopers? Yeah, there will be. And Vi Marathi. Hey, J Emerald. Thank you know. Thank you everybody for coming here. So I'm gonna give this three more minutes before I end it. If anybody wants to hear me read anything in Yoda's voice and wants to do a super chat donation, I will appreciate it. I might even give you a little extra Yoda voice, but I'm going to be checking out here in about three minutes. So if you have any last questions, get them out because I'm going to be ending it. I'm going to be ending it very soon. What are you? I'm going to buy all the things, Arthur. All the things. Lightsabers, droids, holocrons. Is that shirt you're wearing all the different lightsaber for? Yes, it is. Thank you for asking, Chump Change. This is my design. Helvetica style lightsaber forms shirt. Shop.spreadshirt.com slash Dano. There's always links down below. Uh, in fact, it says, where it says support the Daniel channel by using the links below. Uh, there's shirts on Teespring. And then the next one after that says some favorite things. There should be something there for uh, the shirts on Spreadshirt. Yeah, hats and t-shirt. I'm going to put the link in the chat for you guys who are interested in my shirt. There you go. Boom, there's a the link if you want to buy this shirt. I'm really inspirational. Well, thank you. You have a channel of your own. Oh, cool. Right on. Good luck. Um, can you build two at a time? I don't know. I don't know. Thanks a lot for the video. Oh, Walter Hernandez, you're very welcome. You are very, very welcome. I'm glad you had good info. I'm glad I can provide good info to you guys. Am I going to be showing us the custom build lightsaber when you're there on first day? Of course. Of course. Of course I will. If I can film in there, I'm going to film in there. I hope they let me. Um, of course, video lighting is not something they usually do. Like, they don't want you to have your light on or your, you know, no flash, no weird stuff. Especially during a show. Scrum Rat, Far Away Times. Yes, it is Scrum Rat. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the Solo movie, but uh, I always get the wrong side. But Scrum Rat is what that says. Um, can you check the Crossard Productions for my custom lightsaber? Maybe. Lots of info. Good time. Thanks very much. Keep it up. Guys, We got. I'm going to go two minutes. Thank you again. If you want to do a super chat, I'll read it out as Yoda. And just to kind of show you guys the uh, the Yoda thing again. Read your super chats, I will. Hmm? <laughs> so yeah, if you want if you want to see more silly stuff like this, then uh, that's what the super chats go towards. I'm trying to line up my mouth there. Hmm, something silly I might say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? I'm oh thank you Teru. That's really nice of you to say that. Oh thank you Chump Change. Appreciate it. Can you have? Can I have you two name bear that draws you? You don't have to go this far when you read it. Oh, thanks, AJ Creeper. Brilliant. Thank you, Project Paradox. Uh, Hondo Onaka in the Galaxy's Edge is amazing. Yeah, right? He looks cool. He looks really cool. 
Um, Hufflepuff22 says, Dano, do you know what you're going to name the monkey thing? I was thinking of naming him Sabasqua Bid, which is a, uh, a rearrangement of the letters in Sad Baby Squad. And it sounds very Star Wars. Sabasqua Bid. Uh, do you have a favorite Sith or are you full Jedi? What if I'm neither, Abyss1200? What if I am neither? What if my Jedi affiliation matches my hair color? Uh, <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end the stream. It looks like we are just about wrapped up. Thank you guys for hanging out. This is not going to be rewatchable. This is just me and you. This is me spending time with you guys because I appreciate you guys subscribing. So this is all the Sad Baby Squad. Much respect to you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Again, this is why you need to have a subscribe. You need to be a uh, little bell notification. Use the force on that thing. That way you guys don't miss notification. Make sure it says all notifications, not just some notifications from Dano. Click the bell, open it up, hit all notifications. That way you guys can be a part of these live streams, and we'll do special stuff like this from time to time. Also, I'm on Patreon as well. I'm going to start adding content on there because I just got a Patreon today or yesterday. So I'm like, oh, I need to start putting more stuff on there and pushing the Patreon. So if you're interested... If you guys think of it like a tip jar, if you have an extra buck to throw in, a buck a month is nothing. But I'll be putting exclusive content on Patreon just for those people. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching.